don't worry about the hit. For many, getting up close and personal with wild animals is just a thrill. For others, this is the only way to connect, learn and get in touch with nature. I didn't quite know what to expect when I was invited to join the Athlone School for the Blind on what would be a journey of discovery for the visually impaired and blind children. Oh, what's your friend's name, Adira? I soon realized how difficult it is to imagine animals without seeing them and the challenge of describing a creature to someone who may have never seen one. This is probably a task best left to the professionals at Giraffe House Wildlife Awareness Center. So I is not, ne? So I can have full of nut as I pull that. Yeah, good dog. Yeah, I'm good, ne? Here the kids, some completely blind from birth, have the opportunity to touch, feel, and interact with animals using their other senses. Let's put the tortoise on your hand, let him walk. There we go, see? Yes! Some kids showed no fear while they learnt about the animals, even touching the snake to the sensitive skin on their cheeks. None of this would have been possible without the International Fund for Animal Welfare's Animal Action Education campaign that has been running for the last 10 years in the country. It recently expanded to include schools for the disabled. Big muscles he's got. Three to four years ago, we decided to um, convert some of the mat written material into Braille to distribute it to schools for the blind who very seldom get opportunity to read material about conservation and the environment and animals. The experiences they've had in touching a bullfrog and feeding an ostrich egg, you know, for them they're seeing through their hands. And it's all about education, awareness and empowerment. They're willing to, to experience the unknown and they're not scared to, to do that. What Nice. Does it, does it feel nice? Yes. Can I put it in your bag to take home? No. <laughs> you can't put it in your take. The campaign has been so successful that it now forms part of the older learners' curriculum. You can explain to a child what an elephant looks like or what a snake looks like, but until they can feel it and touch it, they will never be able to comprehend what the size of the animal is, for instance. A giraffe has a tongue of 40 how does it differ working with kids with this disability? The visually impaired kids have a much more facial expression where it comes to handling and touching animals. They don't always give it or are given that opportunity. And yes, if they can feel a frog, if they can touch a snake, it's the first time, very possibly the first time in their lives, and possibly the last. So it really to them is extremely special. We need to instill an appreciation in our African wildlife, especially with our kids now, because the future of conservation lays in the hands of our kids. Heet jullie mooi vast? Ja. Oh, safe. Oh, okay, so thank you. <laughs>